guy with white hair called Sam Maxwell hired me. Hey, Keith, you know, it was all very serious, you know. So, um, and a couple of guys in the area that I knew were working there, so that helped, you know. And then I was there about four days, and I, I go into Sam's office, and I, I'm getting to know Steve, this brother guy, this, uh, who is Sam's son too. And, you know, he's like, oh, you've got to meet my brother, he plays guitar, duh, 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 duh. So apparently I wrote out some chords and sent this guy a chord chart, you know, and he, he wasn't too happy about that. But anyway, the thing is, I, I go in the office, and, and the guy says, Keith, I'm going to have to let you go. And I said, that's OK. And I didn't realise he was firing me, because, I mean, that's an American expression. <laughs> and it's like, we're going to have to let you go. And I said, it's all right, Sam, that's, that's great. Um, and he said, you know, I'm firing you. And I went, oh, oh, OK. I'll, I'll leave at the end of the week. And he said, I want you to go now. <laughs> OK. OK. I was a little bit upset, actually. Um, and. I don't, know, I don't know how this happened, but that night when he came home, I'm sitting in his front room with his other son with really long hair, and this kid's gig was, if he was nice to his mum, okay, and really, really practised, like seriously, you know, he had this Fender Strat, 1957 Dwayne, you know, whatever it was, right, and um, he's sitting there playing guitar for eight hours a day, and I get to know this kid, and um, I, I moved in there, didn't I? You know? So uh, the guy fires me and I've moved into his house pretty much. <laughs>